Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 29th through September 4th. And I'll take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the fool, really wanting to take a chance on things here, really open by the way you're showing up here in this energy, you know, embracing the world with that sense of let's, let's go for things, let's, let's do this, let's do that, you know, quite an interesting energy and a good one. Um, in the recent past, the Ten of Wands, the Chariot, the Queen of Swords, I feel like, you know, there's been some hardship here, but you push through by the looks of it really kind of yeah doesn't matter let's let's push through it kind of fast <laughs> you know really wanting to get to the other side quite fast but um quite determined to to get through something here something that doesn't look um easy in the current situation the page of wands the two of swords justice card um again that sense of curiosity that sense of openness is showing up on your side it's it's basically creating a sense of balance for you here where you're finding yourself in this energy and it feels good. It feels, you know, it, it feels good. At times you're questioning it. At times you're like, hmm, am I doing this right? Am I like, should I be like this? Should I? Yeah, you know, it's a good energy the way it's coming through. The questioning part, it's kind of normal to be there. Just don't get hung up on it. Just don't stay there for too long. Because it is creating a sense of stability for you, a sense of balance somehow. So go with it. Um, in the immediate future, the Nine of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Swords. There's a... It's like you're trying to achieve a sense of stability for yourself. And something's coming up, something's showing up. Uh, something quite different than what you've experienced before where I see you kind of willing and being like, okay, let's try this, you know, kind of a thing. It is tied up to your stability somehow. So it feels like it's something new that's popping in. So let's, uh, let's clarify. In the visual aspect of things, when I look at this, like the first time when I looked at this, I'm like, oh man. It's looking a little messy, but it's not as messy as it looks, actually. It's actually feeling quite good. Uh, let's do the full. Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands, the Lovers. You're ready for something new here, especially when it comes tied up to love, to a romantic kind of a thing you're you're definitely ready for something new now i don't know if this lover situation is actually here in front of you um but the energy of it is definitely something that you're looking at like okay this is kind of what i want and i hope it's out there for me and i'm open for it you know kind of a thing so this is definitely telling me uh well giving me a vibe of um possibly ready to move on to the next step there um, let's do the Ten of Wands in the recent past. The Star, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. So all you wanted to do here in the past is follow a dream that you may have had, follow something. There's a path towards something you want. You're definitely open for it, but man, it's a heavy path. It's a heavy road to take. But I feel like you took it regardless. Let's do the chariot. Eight 
Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the Fool. I see this as a change in direction almost. Like a fast change of direction here. On this hard path towards something you desired. Like a really fast change showing up. And you know what? It doesn't feel bad and it feels aligned with the current energies a lot. It is kind of giving you an option of something brand new opening up for you here. Now, whether you took it or not, kind of feels like you did because again, it's very, it's bringing elements from the, from the current energies here. Uh, Queen of Swords. Let's see. Knight of Wands, Five of Cups, Four of Wands. Right. So there's a past situation here, possibly a commitment or a commitment to want to be kind of a thing. There's a whole lot of attraction on your side towards the situation in the past. And then there's you kind of starting to be more practical about it, more logical. So really detaching a little bit from the emotional field of this and just kind of seeing things for what they are, um, which I don't know what that is doesn't look pretty by the looks of it but really stepping into a place of okay i gotta handle on this a little more you know uh let's do the page of wands in the current situation the high priestess the strength card the five of swords hmm. Uh, stay in tune with your intuition because I see you being in tune with your intuition and then you fall off of it. Uh, there's there's this brand new energy coming in through for you and it's a good one. Again, it opens you up. It, it allows you to stay open for new experiences. And then I see your intuition right there by your side and then I see you kind of kicking it to the curve and being like, leave me alone, intuition. You know, I'm not going to listen to you. Um, probably that's the time when this two of swords steps in. Because there's that sense of overthinking things at times. And when that happens, you're not connected to your intuition at all. So that's why I'm kind of seeing that like ups and downs when it comes to you staying in tune with your intuition. You know? Um, hmm. Let's do the two of swords. Like, and when I say intuition, don't think of... Uh, uh, oh, it's a voice that's going to guide me to... No, it's something that feels good to you. You're walking through life open and then you're kind of following all of these paths that feel good to you. That's your intuition. It doesn't have to be that voice that tells you things, you know, or that... Mm. No, just... But again, the minute you step up in here and you forget about what's going on in here, that's not your intuition anymore. So, two of swords... Yeah, from this place, you're being run by pain. So I can I kind of see you flipping in between, you know how I told you you've gained a little more clarity and you're more practical, especially when it comes to a former a past something here tied up to a commitment. Um, that's coming into play again, where you've learned how to be practical about this thing. So now you're taking that and being like, well, I got to be practical about things too. I can't al always go with what feels good to me. Why not? Because when you are taking it here, even if it's clear, at some point it gets cloudy. Um, when you keep it only here, fear is going to try to sneak in, insecurity, all sorts of things that are from our past that we didn't necessarily heal. Because if we, if we did heal them, they would still show up, but we would recognize them and we wouldn't allow, allow for this cloudiness to, to happen there, you know? Uh, so I see that coming through, like that sense of, I got to be practical about things too. I can't always wander around based on how I feel. Uh, and when that happens, you know, the mind gets activated and sometimes it, it gets activated a little too much and it keeps you into a sense of pain, a sense of fear, a sense of wanting control, all sorts of things in there. Um, so that's why there's this flip, this on and off flip on intuition. Let's do the Justice card. Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yeah, this on and off 
uh, switch is showing up again. When you're in the mind, you're scared. You're never going to get into that place of balance in which you actually are when you do allow yourself to balance out the mind and the heart. That is a place of balance. And you got it. You're showing it to me. You know, so on one hand, you're kind of stressed out. On the other, you're like, ah, it feels good. Up and down, up and down, on and off on your intuition there. Uh, and on allowing yourself to feel your way through things, you know. Let's do the Nine of Pentacles in the immediate future. Ten of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Judgment card. Love is showing up. Something is showing up here. I told you something was showing up, something new. Uh, it could be love, by the way. It's It kind of scares you, though. The minute it shows up and it presents itself as love, it's kind of like, ooh, what just happened? Where I see you just doing your own thing, you know, finding that, that sense of, I got my own thing going on, I'm good. And then love shows up. Um, and as much as you're showing it to me there in the beginning as the overall energy, kind of like, that's what I'm looking for, actually. When it does show up, you're like, oop, kind of scared of it, you know? Um, again, the mind kind of tries to take over there. Remember the on and off switch. Um, let's do the Wheel of Fortune in the immediate future. Queen of Pentacles, the Justice card, the King of Cups. Come back to you. Whenever you find yourself in here and you're kind of wandering off with the mind there, come back to you. Come back to that. It, it doesn't matter who shows up on the outside, if they got tons of buildings of love or whatever the hell they got going on. It's not about there. It's not about them. Come back to you. Find that place of you inside of you because that's going to keep you balanced and that's going to keep your heart open too. And from that place, it's going to be you know, a little different dealing with outside energies when they're coming through. You're going to know how to handle 10 buildings of love if they do show up. You know, when you allow the power here only, you know, a little more difficult. Those 10 buildings are going to seem like 100 and they're heavy. Uh, let's do the Page of Swords in the uh, immediate future. Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles, the Emperor. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of showing me a sense of continuous work to align with yourself, to fall into that place of finding yourself through there and just kind of staying there um, for, a, for a little while longer until you know how to handle it when situations come up. Um, so you're showing me, you know, I'm working on that. I'm, it's, it's definitely a work in progress here, where at times you feel like you don't know what you're doing, like if Again, if you're doing it right, you're not, you're, you're doing it right. You're good. You're good here. Definitely good. Um, you got your own pace to it. So don't, you know, try to, oh, okay, let's race. Cause that other person that lives at the third floor, they're up ahead. So I got to catch, who the hell cares? You got your own pace to this. Um, there's no perfect way of doing it or there's no one way of doing it. So there's definitely a sense of you coming back to you here. Um, Let's see what the universe has to close it off. Ooh, beautiful. Nine of Cups, Four of Swords, the Emperor. You're doing it. You're doing it here. The universe is kind of like, in the way the energy show up, you're showing me a work in progress kind of a thing. The universe is really reinforcing that kind of like, yeah, it's actually happening. You know, and they're doing great kind of a thing in terms of healing, in terms of balancing yourself out. When the mind shows up, don't make it your enemy. It's kind of its job to protect you, uh, but also recognize it. Sometimes it stands in the way of us balancing out and kind of, you know, finding ourselves in there. Um, so anytime that happens, again, come back to you. Because uh, you know how to do that. You're showing it to me here, so... That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.